is about 9,500 miles between the Golden State and a swanky former fishing village on the Italian Riviera known as Poratifino, where pastel painted cottages mix it with celebs and super yachts. For Ferrari, however, it's a gap of 10 years between the launch of the California, its first front engine V8 sports car and this, the MK2 version, the Ferrari Poratifino. California is such an iconic game, says Nico De Braari, head of Ferrari product marketing. Trying to stay close wasn't a good thing. Portofino is discreet, it's not as splashy as Monte Carlo. The California was aimed at a new breed of Ferrari customer, younger, with the family, women. In one sense it's done that job well, in another it's failed. Vaari admits with a shrug that not many women have actually bought a California, but for a car launch just as Lehman Brothers was gasping its last, the car has attracted a new sort of customer just the same and attracted 35% of Ferrari's total sales. Last year, that numbered 8,398 vehicles. Same sex, but a different type of customer says Bari, adding that California customers use their cars 150% more than typical Ferrari sports car owners, tend to use their cars every day and 30% of them even use the tiny rear seats.